Hello everybody. So today I have been playing Last Epoch. This has been pretty interesting as a Diablo 4 player, you know, playing this for the first time. I'm level 26, I believe. A uh, pretty fun game, I have to say. Uh, this game really puts Diablo 4 to shame in terms of the ability of what you're able to do as like a zoo druid. So if you like playing zoo type stuff where you just use summons, my god, this is crazy. You can get a bear, you can get a scorpion, you can get a saber tooth. The mastery skill that you get is for choosing as a raptor. So I mean, you even get like dinosaurs, that's wild, right? And then you also, oh, wrong one. You also uh, can get wolves, you can also get storm crows. So you can get a ton of different summons, right? I pretty much just put every single summon on the bar that I can get. Now, obviously, I do not have any kind of, uh, like, I don't know, real meta build or anything like that put together. Allegedly, there is a unique helm that turns all of your wolves into squirrels. And you can have a squirrel army. So looking forward to finding that at some point. But game is pretty cool. You can see here that each skill has, like, its own skill tree. And this is really cool because I know I noticed, like, with the wolves right you can it says you can have an additional wolf active at once you can have an additional companion active at once the extra wolf counts towards your companions so like you can see that um you can see here that you can also get like more companions and stuff like that so like, you can get this you can come over here you can pick up this you can summon wolves up to the number of like maximum companions and stuff like that because the way companions work in this game is you have like a companion limit and then that dictates like the amount you can have so like right now i have my companion limits three it's like i have i have a bear out i have a raptor out and I also have uh, a wolf out so that's pretty pretty sweet honestly and then if I was to actually take the bear off and then take the raptor off I could technically have two more wolves but I have I'm just not going like all in on wolves yet necessarily but yeah so you can see they just have all kinds of stuff here um, I noticed that the wolf one has a definitely has like a proclivity for like storm stuff but at the same time you can take stuff over here right and because what I'm going for currently if you want to, if you're just interested to know, is I'm going for a bleed build, right? So uh, I have tear flesh on my raptors. It gives a chance to make things bleed. I have scent of blood, damage that increases its damage against bleeding targets. I have in for the kill, so it does more damage per nearby bleeding enemy. So I'm trying to take all the bleed stuff that I can. I made a slight mistake here, and I went over here for this, thinking that it would make it to where I could summon three wolves on top of these, and I was 100% wrong about that. So yeah. And I don't really want to like undo these stats because I actually do want this at some point. And if you take out the stats, it like reduces the skill level of the skill, which I didn't realize I did it because I did it twice without even realizing it was rare. I thought you just got to respect for free because I was bad and just, you know, didn't actually read the text here on the respect. But <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going for right now. Pretty sweet pretty sweet overall. I haven't really gotten into any of like the other systems of the game. I've just been completing the campaign, but you know, very fun. Very fun stuff here, right? I have I mean, I have Temptus Strike. I'm think I was thinking about maybe switching that out for Storm Crows or something, but I think I'm going to wait until I get a better summon. Cuz the Storm Crows the Storm Crows are all lightning stuff, so it doesn't seem like it's very good to use it unless I'm specifically uh, going for some elemental damage build. But yeah, so pretty, uh, pretty, pretty interesting stuff we got here. You can see that the game, I noticed that this game, it's weird, because I didn't realize that Last Epoch had been out for so long. And the thing that's interesting is it almost seems like this blend of like Diablo 3, Path of Exile, and like all these other ones. Like look at this stat window. I swear this looks almost exactly like the PoE stat window. So, you know, they definitely uh, took some inspiration. Dare I even maybe say copy? Because like, even when you, like, look at... Um, what the heck? Why can't I target these things? That's weird. But um, even when you look at, like, the font, right, and stuff like that, it seems very PoE-ish. So they definitely took some inspiration from... They definitely took some inspiration from PoE. Now, I don't know. Now, I'm not sure what stats and stuff like that are good or, like, what's necessary. I know, like, PoE, like, you want to get, like, 75% of, like, all resistances and stuff like that. So, I don't have anything, like, going on like that. I have noticed I've already found, like, two uniques. So, this game is very generous with loot, it would seem. Like, I'm just finding stuff left and right. Oh, okay. Just gotta kill. Oh, I gotta kill these bone things. I, I see, I see. 
I see. Yeah, but very, very generous with gear. I found this, like, thorn slinger. This just gives me some thorns. It was just better than everything I had. It also has a chance to bleed on hit, which I thought was pretty cool. So it was pretty good for my build specifically. And then Pebble, I found so many of these. And it looks like it's for a Necro, but the minion damage does affect my pets, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, I've just pretty much just been finding a ton of these. But yeah, you definitely can find unique items. It looks very much so like it's level based on like what uniques you can find. So I know like in um, like Path of Exile, right? I think like it works like that where you have like Poet's Pin that's like level 12 or something like that. Which is totally fine. Um, I looked up to see something about like that squirrel one, but that's like going to be way later in the game when I find that. That looks like it's a really high level one, but it'll be very interesting. It'll be very interesting to see how it goes with that. Let's see here. Um, I don't know exactly what the end game is yet either. So, uh, man, very interested to, very very interested to see. Where am I even going here? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, very interested to see what the end game's like. Apparently you do like a monolith of fate thing where you just go clear out timelines and then you get like a blessing and stuff like that. I noticed that they have like a leaderboard function here and it says wave 863 so it almost seems like maybe it's like some type of survival wave style in game or something like that maybe. But you can see here, you know, Druid obviously repping. Oh wait, I guess they're only ranked 4. I take that back. Oh, uh, who's, who's number one? Freya? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Freya's a druid. I don't know. I guess druid is really cracked in this game. At least that's the way it seems to me. It looks like druid and... What's the other one? I see a lot of druids. I see a lot of druids. Uh, I think lich also was really good. Yeah. I think, like, druid, lich... I keep seeing a bunch of those. Um, I don't see a whole lot of paladins, but anything like that. That's another class I wanted to try out because it does have a paladin, but honestly, it doesn't look crazy interesting to me. Uh, the Void Knight thing from Sentinel looked pretty interesting though, so I might go try that out. But right now, I'm just kind of playing this little Beastmaster Zoo Druid type build. I think it's pretty fun. Gonna see how, gonna see how far I can take it. I have no idea if it's gonna be if what I'm doing is even gonna be remotely good at the end game. But right now, it seems to be crushing everything. So. Cause this game doesn't have difficulties, it just has, I don't know, it looks, seems like it just has like a regular base difficulty and that's it. But you can see I'm finding like all kinds of gear. Just absolutely, uh, absolutely wild here. Let's, yeah, Divine Era, Ancient Era, and then like depending on like which, this one only seems to have two, but like I know like this was the first place, you know, like the Divine Era. If you click here it'll tell you like the levels, like level one. Level 2, right? Level 3, level 6, level 5, etc. And then you come up here, right? And all of a sudden it jumps up to like level 50. So you jump through like the different eras. I don't really know what the story is 100%. I haven't really followed it like super closely, regrettably. But I know like right now I'm, I'm over here. So you can see this is like a 25 area. And then here's 24. Oh, never mind. I guess this is actually the right. I guess I am doing the right little stuff. But yeah, so... But I would imagine I'm going to go from here and then probably end up like going down to like here or something. Something like that since that's level 30. And you have like the Ruined Era. Which I believe I've already done, yes. It's level 18, but then down here they have like another level 50 area. So it looks like, I don't know, I feel like the campaign's going to take me to level 50. And then you have like the End of Time, which has this whole monolith of fate system. Which I guess you can do and go ahead and start doing. But I'm just going to wait till I get the campaign done because I... Don't even know how that how that stuff works. Holy smokes. Okay, never mind. Okay, these things are actually wrecking me. See, this is what I get for saying I haven't had trouble not dying, because then I go into this new area I haven't been, and then I just get wrecked. I I okay game. I see how it is. See how it is. But that's actually kinda nice though, because game like games like this being too easy is pretty unfun. But I think, I feel like for not having different difficulty settings, PoE and like Last Epoch do a pretty good job. This for sure, I've definitely fought bosses. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Idol of Loathing. Get up. Get up. Get up. See up. Not too bad. Not too bad, I'd say. 
Trying to make sure I don't stand at anything this time. Wow, I am, like, still proccing that shock, which is hilarious. Come on, get up. Yes! Quest completed, and I got a passive point. Nice. I don't even know what quest I was doing, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks like the side quest might also give you passive points, which is kind of a big deal. Like, def I have, like, all these side quests that I probably need to actually do. Okay. So, wait, does this shock actually do damage? Oh. I thought it was doing damage to me. Wow. Alright. Well, sorry. I am not the uh, most intelligent individual, apparently. The Risen Lake. Okay. So, we can go back here now. Interesting. Well, we're going to use that because it has increased minion damage on it. That's what we need. That's what we need in our life. Okay. 29. Ooh, now we can get our Aspect of the Shark. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess I actually had Aspect of the Shark. I'm getting the next thing on it. Insane. Okay. So, Aspect of the Shark now also grants attacks and spells a chance to reduce enemy armor. Ooh, that's pretty good. This is what I need to get to. Increases the duration of it and then gives it to my... It says you and your companions are granted Aspect of the Shark whenever you are. So, and it lasts longer. That's what I really need is that. Ooh, and I have Summon Scorpion now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we, we need to... We need to see what's going on here now. Okay, so we have Summon Scorpion. We're going to get rid of this. We are now full companions. We have no ability aside from Fury Leap other than companions. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I've trolled. Wait, I can't actually use that yet because I don't have the... I don't have the extra... Okay, I guess we'll get rid of the wolf for a second here. So we can actually try it. What the heck is going on here? Okay, okay. So we'll have to get rid of the wolf for a second just so we can try out the scorpion. What's it do? Releases a burst of venom that inflicts all enemies around the score. Oh, so this is like a poison. Ooh, that might act that might not actually be that great for me. Like might not actually be that great. Mm -hmm. Imperial Fatima. Alright. Find a way into Harton's Dreadnought. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so now I don't have my Raptor. I want my Raptor back. Give me my Raptor. Yeah, there we go. I think maybe I'll switch back from the Scorpion, though. Because I already have points and stuff and specialized into... Uh, oh, my. Hello? Oh, flag, flag! Holy crap, they just wrecked me. I actually want to look at something here. Passives. That's interesting. So, skills actually is what I want to go to. So, wolves. We can get... Wolves deal additional cold damage with their attacks. And have an increased chance to stun. That's kind of interesting, right? Then we have... Your wolves have a chance to retaliate with lightning. So, they can do some... Pretty interesting, some pretty interesting stuff. Maybe I'll actually work my way over to this frozen fangs thing. So it looks like I, yeah. So it looks like I can actually get this next next time. So wolves deal an additional cold damage, huh? That's that's interesting. Let's see what we're doing there, and then on the bear, eh? We'll just keep doing this. Increase its melee damage. So I'm level 10 now, so that's pretty cool. So let's see, what do I want to use instead of... Uh... Is that like a totem ability? That's a thorn totem, that's not that good. I really want this frenzy totem ability. It gives everything 20% attack speed. That seems really good. That seems very good. Very, very good. Uh, I guess I'll go... Hmm. This is hard choices here. I could just go heal. Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, I should use this. The heck? This... What? I can give... I can give my minions energize so they do 100% increased damage? I never even knew that did that. Holy crap. <laughs> Why am I not using this blessing? Okay. Oh my gosh. No. It... Yes, my minions. Yes. Get them. Get them, my minions. Yeah. Boom. Okay. We got a boss on our hands. I was not expecting that. Well, I guess I guess I should have been expecting that. Okay. Well, good good for us. We do not have to actually do anything other than focus on dodging mechanics. So, uh, let's see if we can let's see if we can do the one thing we have to do with this build. Get them wraps. Some negative mana. Ooh. I'll go pick up some health potions though. Oh yeah, easy peasy mode, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy mode. Who needs to do anything? Oh sh no! <laughs> oh my god, it one shot me. <laughs> All right, who needs to do anything? Well, apparently me, because I got hit by an ability and I died. That is okay though. Round two. Round two. So it's the big blasty boy. That's the one I gotta dodge. Okay. Come on now. Oh. Immediately heal. Oh no, he killed my wolf. Okay, it's getting it's getting dicey. It's getting a little dicey. Oh, right there. Okay, I see now. Yeah, I just stood in it like an idiot. I definitely had time to react. I definitely had the time to react. Ah. Ah. Almost there. Oh, dodged it. Wait, what? Oh god, no. Please don't die to lag. Please. Oh, we did it. Ah, what, what can I say? I have such a skilled build. Oh my gosh. You've never seen such a skilled build like this one. I have to do so much. So much, so much, so much. Increased necrotic damage. Mmm. Holy. Mmm. Holy. Give me this. No room. What do you mean, no room? Give me this. 94% increased minion <laughs> melee damage. So I get 25% there. Oh, we are. Oh, I probably don't have enough room, do I? Yeah, okay. Well, sweet. We did it. We did it. First seen warriors wouldn't shoot. Okay. Hurry and break these chains, please. I'll take that as a yes. All right. Get to the railing and give a signal when you're ready. And there it is. Plus two idle slots. Oh, hey, look at that. The dunes. Yep, I was right. I am, I am showing up here. Well, alright, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Thanks!